what do we have an interest in this in then other than Starfield? Like what's what's the interest other than Starfield? Is there one? Physix, can't he hear you? What about now? You should be able to hear me now. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Should be able to hear me now. Yes. Physix. No. Seriously? Unmute your shit. It says it's going through. It totally says it's going through. Yeah, well, you're full of it. Because I can hear it. Physix. Sorry, MH thing happened, Shen. You started whatever gamne. I'm listening to it right here. Although. Yeah, I can hear myself. I'm listening XO to it. XO Dank. Physix, it's just you. You might have to refresh your browser. Physix. Okay, NM. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> well, then what are we interested in besides Starfield, y'all? I'll Physics. play something else. I hear the bot fine, just not Kaya's, but that is prob for the best. Well, see now, I know you're trolling me right now. Because everybody else can hear it, and I heard it. I actually listened to myself. Troll. I'm such a troll. Hello there. What's up? Before I go back into this, are we playing something else? I'm assuming that was Anakin. Oh, wait, you're just going to bed, aren't you? You and your go to bed, I'm going to fucking lurk you. Thing, aren't you? Fine. Fine. Back to Jimson. Me, George Jimson. Anakin Gamers. No, I just woke up lol need a few. Well, what are we doing? <laughs> so I know what to play before I get into this. Because if I get into this, then, like... Suck to come out of it. This is my shield generator, y'all. <laughs> my engine blaring or whatever. Breaking intake. Or breaking something, I don't know. I don't know. for you. Ooh. Well, kinky. You were right there. Where'd you go, Sarah? Sarah! 
Chara! Chara! Always a pleasure. See anything interesting today? I mean, other than Sarah just like magically teleporting in the other side of the world. Sorry to pull you aside like this, but I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. Taking those steps to eradicate the Terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Huh. Huh. Well, something had to be done. Those creatures were dangerous. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you treated the situation with the urgency it deserved. Yes, of course. I only wish that the United Colonies chose to exterminate the Terramorphs with the experimental microbe instead of choosing this ridiculous Asili solution. Apparently, their decision was based on your recommendation. <sighs> that was a risky choice you've made. Uh... Experimental microbe would have been an even greater I risk. beg to differ with you. Yeah, you Deploying differ. the Asili solution is going to take years. Perhaps even decades. The microbe would have cut that time drastically. Yeah. Couldn't condone the release of an unproven microbe into our ecosystem. Well. I'm disappointed that you didn't trust the science. Unfortunately, locking away the Lazarus plant instead of eliminating it adds to the risk. Anything that accelerates the Terramorph life cycle should have been completely removed from the equation. Why take the chance? Well, even if we don't agree on this matter, I appreciate of your course. honesty. I wouldn't have it any other way. Of course you wouldn't. I appreciate the fact that you've taken the time to listen to my opinion on the matter. Boom! What did you need? Nothing. Good. Good. Pretty sure she had something for me, but I'm not gonna push the... I'm not gonna push it. <laughs> you should've went with the microbe. I don't know, it's just something about, like... The, I don't know, the microbe feels to me almost like cloud seeding, right? Supposedly it works, but... Oh shit, you're putting in the atmosphere? Come on. I just felt that the natural solution, you know, was more... more realistic. Let the animals eat the fucking worms, right? Like it should be. Whatever, though. I think it's funny, though, that they, it was either Shut or, they couldn't do both. Everything in the green. She's really gonna hate it when I go pirate, then. Uh, would I fall to a life of crime? <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. I'm getting so much trouble. wearing a paper bag over my head. Or not. Really? <laughs> Listen to what? Hey there. Glad to see you again. Hope we can talk later. Uh. 
all these headaches. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted it. Gonna get myself killed? Oxygen bottles. Son of a bitch. It's not what I wanted. Alright. Could you imagine living in a society where you've read all the books and nobody's writing any new books? Wouldn't that be shit? Like, all you could read is Dickens? And the fact that they're still, like, making books because, like, fucking trees, yo. Well, what the fuck? I haven't seen all that many trees, so, so like, who, who's making the books? Like, seriously, who's making the fucking books? Clearly some of them are left over, but... Physics. <laughs> the fact there are books and not tablets, haha. Kindles, yo, like... I'm sorry, that's just unrealistic. Physics. Same with notepads and notebooks everywhere. Yeah, a lot of paper. I've yet to see one place that sells paper, but it's everywhere. You know? Nobody here sells paper, yet everybody's got paper and pens. How is that a thing? Physics. I mean a lot of planets have tree-like plants, so it's possible to have a planet-sized tree farm paper milling. 
Oh yeah, it's possible, but that means that there's a planet like Mars where all they do is do paper and the way they do the mining on Mars. Like, where's that? How come that wasn't added? That would have been interesting, you know? What the fuck? <laughs> Another missed opportunity. Physics. Over 1,000 planets you Hi. have not been to all the systems it might be THR. Uh, I have been to all the systems. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Let's end this. I have the achievement. <laughs> Physics. You've been to every system while wow, why they achieve. There's an achievement for it. I don't know. Because they felt it was achievement worthy to go to every system. I heard you. But I heard you. Physics. Who is the creeper in your Discord? I knew I'd find yeah. you. Come on. This is hopeless. I'm out. <sighs> Should have got out before I ever freaking shot at you. Saved you hell hell a headache. Nah, shooting in the head was more fun. For me. Oh, is it a defector? Defecting the pirates? Yeah, fuck that guy. How the Admiral knew about that is kind of concerning, but fuck that guy. I'm still a bit concerned. Fuck that guy. Razor knock. Creeper in Discord hope it doesn't e go boom. Great. A little Minecraft reference for you kids that don't get it. And by kids, I mean you old fucks. That don't play Minecraft. There's some. They pay you enough to slaughter innocents? Yeah, no, I don't think so. You deserve everything you get. And more. Probably shouldn't have put you down because that was just too good for you, I think. But hey, you know. Liquid cooled spacesuit. <clears throat> nah, that's kind of crazy. A liquid cooled spacesuit. done here. Wherever 
wait too, but where's our companion? No, no death wish. Wish you death. But me? No, no death wish. I don't know where my companion's at, though. This ship parked awfully close. Captain, do you require my assistance? No. Oh. Dump our gear. Go see what's up with that ship. Bastards. I swear, Mal. Money was too good. Kitty Cat. Hello. Hello. Taking a lot of damage from falling, so. Let's see if we can't help that a little bit.
XO dank. Lol just don't fall and you'll be fine. Kitty cat. How is Starfield? It's good. It's a Bethesda game. Kitty Cat. I have over 150 hours, Mr. Kaislo. More than me. Only got 130 something. <clears throat> but I also don't usually play yes. a lot of Bethesda games all at once, I play them over the course of a lifetime. Kitty cat, and that s save playtime. Got four days and sixteen hours, whatever that translates to. Back a, eh? how's it going? Playtime is playtime. It doesn't matter if it's save game time. Because some people play multiple save games, multiple characters. Dust off complete. Kitty Cat. If you include being AFK and stuff, the actual playtime is like over 200. Achieving orbit now. It's a valid point, but your save games can also reflect that, so I mean, it doesn't really matter. All of my save games. XO Dank. 256 hours, Kaislo. What I've got. Not even close. I don't usually play a game that much. Not not like in the first week of release. I play it over time. Play the crap out of it for like the first few days and then I won't play it again for a while. XO Dank. That's the save time for you. Physics. I prob have 200 hours of just leaving HTE game running in the back though runs paused or on T intro menu while I was not home or sleeping. That can't be right. 256 hours? I don't even have that much time played in game. <laughs> like, my Steam account doesn't reflect 256 hours. I'm sure your math is right? A day is 24 hours. XO Dank. NVMI messed up the math. Okay, that makes more sense. Well, it didn't sound right. It didn't, didn't sound right. XO Dank. I did it in minutes for the calc. Hmm. Fair enough. We're here, let's see if we can get this to show up. Let's see if we can get this to show up. XO Dank. 112 hours. Kitty Cat. In total, Xbox says I have 11 D, 9 H, and 15 meters. Somebody doesn't ever shut their Xbox off. Yeah, I didn't think about that. AFK time. All of our playtime, though, is pretty much uh, playtime. I am not playing on Xbox, I am playing on PC. Why the fuck does Xbox say you've got playtime on it? <laughs> playing on PC. <laughs> so this guy's clearly, like, obliterated, but... The game won't recognize it. XO Dank. Him playing on PC using Xbox Game Pass. Kitty Cat. You can play through the Xbox Store dummy. Yeah, but that's on PC. That doesn't make it an Xbox. It's still a PC version of the game. Is 
just the Microsoft side of things, though, because none of that stuff transfers over to, to the PC Kitty version. Cat. But the Xbox app says my playtime dummy. Fair enough. I think the game that's got most of my playtime is World of Warcraft. That game comes in at over 11,000 hours. That's attention. the only game I have that I've got that much time in. I have never Kitty played Cat. a new game that much. I have Hello Kitty Watch mod installed. I don't exactly know what a Hello Kitty watch mod is. Miranda. Oh, it's Miranda. Isn't Miranda from Firefly? The same Miranda? Company pump. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Company pump. Proceeds to assist non hostile vessels. This is a commercial passenger transport liner wanting to alert you about hostiles in the system. Ooh. Appreciate the warning. Thank you. It's our company's policy. Kitty Cat. Us friendly Check to DMS Kaiser. Place the launch. Whoa. Argon, family of internet. Landing site locked. Take us in. Wow, this is a busy area. Lions, tigers, and pirates, oh my. Captain, greetings. You know what? Let's kitty go into, cat. Uh... I also retextured Vasco into a Hello Kitty robot. What uh, if there's a Johnny Five Vasco out there? That'd be fun. Johnny Five robot. With the actual dialogue. <laughs> Close the song, Captain. he randomly breaks out and sings. Kitty it. Cat. And changed Sarah's outfit to a Barbie outfit. XO Dang. I found Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Genghis Khan, but for some reason while doing the quest, the clones kept attacking me. XO um... Dang. Attacking. So it's because you went there with your companion. There is a bug where if you go in with your companion, you can't finish the mission. Um, if you go back to a point before that final mission starts and you dismiss your companion, X so they're not dang. part of it. I finished it still. Oh, okay, you stayed. All right, cool. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, we had to like. I had to rush in there and talk to Franklin as fast as possible and pick the first option and have him give me the reward before he went hostile. And then I just ran away, so I didn't shoot anybody. Because I wasn't trying to hurt him, you know? Well, I mean, aside from... Dank. LMAO. I was only trying to hurt people I was trying to hurt, right? Like, 
Not everybody. XO Dank. I killed them all like six times. Yeah, it, it was, uh... I enjoyed that mission. Fun mission. Most of the side missions have been pretty fun, though. Kitty Cat. I also changed the Mantis armor into Shepard's armpit from Mass Effect. Shepard's armpit, huh? Kitty Cat. Armor. Uh, XO Dan. Uh. LMAO. Kitty Cat. Lol. XO Dank. It's just a giant walking armpit, guys. Kitty Cat. The N7 armor. The noises these characters make. It's, it's, it's weird. Like when they play all the way out, they're not, but half the time they get cut off. Kitty Cat. I also changed my eyes to the Elusive Man SIs from Mass Effect 2. No XO Dank. Who needs armor when you can be a armpit? Figure out why they're low gravity and then all of a sudden they have gravity. Why am I not floating away? So dank. I wish I knew how to clip things. Button down there in the uh, over there somewhere, or over there somewhere on the screen. I, think. I, don't know. I don't know, something like that. XO Dank. I see it now, lol. Like I said, I fall down though, but these other corpses just keep floating. Don't make me shoot you in the space too. See, I want a moon like that in Star Citizen where, like, the bodies and shit float and throw them into the air. <laughs> of course, then our ships wouldn't sit on the ground either, but, you know, whatever. Thanks. 
sensor readings may indicate hostiles in the area. Engaging a I am taking damage. Probably shouldn't do that. This is some fun, uh, this is some fun, <laughs> just blowing up these pirates like they don't even matter. XO Dank. How are you not over encumbered? I probably am. Coming for you, Jenny. Jenny, I've got your number. the other way friend no you had to prove better than me <laughs> Definitely over encumbered at this point. The rascal. What an advanced look. The rascal. Lock. It is not. I'm not playing Dark Souls with padlocks. It just ain't. The Rascal. Two pins LMAO. The lock to the door. The key to the door. Isaacs. As much as I defended the lockpicking in this game, I also think a single player game should be fun for the player so mod it however it makes it more fun for you. How I feel about it. How I play my games really doesn't matter if I'm playing them by myself. 
Multiplayer games are a bit different. Cheats in multiplayer games are generally uh, not cool. But... XO Dank. Him guessing the loot goblin in you has taken over. Goblin always takes over. Trying to figure out how to open this door. I didn't see a key though. What was that all about? Not how that's supposed to work. <laughs> XO Dank. LMAO. Ah, here's where the key's at. Slugs deal more damage. Really? You can charge shot this? Holy shit. Things you learn. I would have thought the key was going to be in here with the chest. Or is it in here, maybe? So dank. I think it's on a table. it should be easier to find your way out of here because normally those door unless the door was somewhere and I missed it maybe So dank. Or it's because you went through the vent and the key is on the other side. And that's just makes it easier to get back to where we started. Uh, doesn't seem to be.
right. Now it is truly deserted. Fucker would just keep floating through space if I let him. Like he is. Hello. Hey, you get
to listen. Shut up. <laughs> Nobody asking you to listen. Deep covers the final faction mission we have. Starting this tonight, or are we doing something else? I need to take a minute. I'll be right back. Vladimir inform you that I will be making another delivery? All right. Suppose you were due for one. The uh, contents, the what we agreed on? Yes, Vladimir and I agreed on what should be included. That's all fine then. Do let me know if you get a response. That is highly unlikely, but if it happens, I will be sure and tell you. Daddy button!
Razorlock. I misclicked. Yeah. Read it. So somebody compared the uh, the power distribution to this game uh, to X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. And I just thought to myself, they've clearly not played X-Wing versus TIE Fighter in a while because X-Wing versus TIE Fighter was much simpler. Um, much, much simpler for managing power. But they said that it was tedious and, and annoying and it's like, Really? Because like every space game ever, Star Citizen included, has power management. Like, really? I don't get it. I don't get it. Solid docking job there. Yep. Nice work. Tic Tac Jim. Yeah, reminded me of X Wing a little too. Welcome aboard the UC. Yeah, but it's not quite the same. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the commander? I think I removed your mod, Tic Tac, because I hadn't seen you in a while. I thought maybe you died or something. <laughs> Tic Tac Jim. In that, there are six columns instead of three. Tic Tac Jim. <sighs> Oops, caps. Tic Tac Jim. Lol. Tic Tac Jim. Very much alive, buddy. Hey, you just hadn't been around in a while. Just hadn't been around in a while. Anything I should know? Yeah. Listen to it. Tic Tac carefully. Jim. I've been busy with work, etc. Kind of Fair enough. Fair In other enough. words, he hates to repeat himself. Other than that, just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. Okay. No, you Understood? If you'd follow me, please. So, you're Hello. the vanguard that took down... Tic Tac Jim. City. How are you visiting Sysdef without a visit to the Brig Nice? Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Because Damn. I am a hero of, of the United of Colonies. Fight. I almost regret missing out on all the fun. As he's telling you. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the vigilance. But we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. I've been a goody-goody two-shoes, but I have a feeling that I might have to change that and become a pirate for the rest of this playthrough. Which means that everybody's gonna fucking hate me. So, it's problematic. Could be problematic. I don't know. I might decide to side with yes. the. Uh, what? May decide to side with the pirates. Tic Tac Jim. Enjoy the Vanguard. I've taken it and killed the occupants' pussies. Wait, you can steal this ship? Hello? There's <clears throat> a flight deck, though. Tic Tac Jim. For the Crimson. Excuse me. Your excuse. Okay, hello. Oh, fucking way. Oh, wow. 
I for the for a ship like this, I might go dark side. <laughs> Very well might go dark side for a ship Party. like this. God damn. Oof, I'm a bit busy at the moment, but oof, I'm a bit busy at the moment, but we'll talk later, okay? Are you sure we'll talk later? Tic Tac Jim. 250k for the win. I believe we have something important to discuss. That's all it's worth? Seems like this ship should cost a lot more than that. My ah, ship costs more you than are. that. Commander Kibwe Kande, UCC Steph. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Duala's offer. I was. Hey, he convinced me it was for the greater good, so... It appears he certainly picked the right person for the job. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center. <laughs> Dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. All right, impressive. Where do I fit in? Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. So you want me to Sydney Bristow this shit? Uh... So you have a plan? I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Oh, fun. Where did you get the That's contract? classified. Suffice to say that the smuggler who was previously holding it will be spending the rest of their life in prison. Typical bet. Probably sniff out a Narcomon. That's right. Away. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Huh? Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. All right. Tick tack, I... Jim. Eager to this get is going. my favorite storyline by far brilliant. Remember. This entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. What if I get it over my head? Then you better learn to swim. Because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment. Trust your instincts. And watch your back. All right, well, we'll do our best. I wouldn't expect any less. True. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Uh, what do you mean, stray too far? The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one thing. Money. Okay. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing. So I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. Think you can handle that? Sure, yeah. Can't make any promises. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and... Good luck. Oh. 
Any other information? All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. Shady deals, She's huh? shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. If I get arrested? For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. <clears throat> Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. How will I maintain contact? That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll right, be so monitoring your activities from the Vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. And my While you're behavior. running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. Morally gray. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do. But remember why you're out there in the first place. Well, that's to make the money, right? Physics. Cheddar cheese. Never had a problem doing what I as had to survive. As long as you can distinguish between surviving and thriving, you'll do just fine. Look, I can see this the coming with someone this. that's got that much brass so on his chest. Yeah, story. okay. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. If you would kindly continue. Dismissed. Hey. All right, well. Yes? Is there a vendor on this ship? Pfizer. Probably won't talk to me. Yet, it is a good All thing right. no one is innocent. We don't have a lot of time, so, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Sure. Yeah. Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. If there's incriminating data out there, we'll find it. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. You only talking about it. What? No, it's personal. Well, you should have brought it, has it up. Nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission, and you'll be fine. Shouldn't have brought it up. All right. That's all we're asking. Yeah. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Oh shit. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that oh. you return, as compensation for your efforts. Beautiful. That's very generous. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo uh... hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Um... 
you like discussing your personal experience? Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. Oh. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate that you care. It's just that I don't feel like now's an appropriate time to be discussing these things. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? What if I get caught with this cargo? Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation... What? Well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Oh, that's not... Oh. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Why would I do... No, why would I do that? I'd just be silly. Howdy. Selling to other people. Does that... Sell evidence and... Stuff. Hey. I don't know about you. That's understandable. Eh, oh, no. that isn't it. We've got plenty of green pilots picked right from the academy. But yours happened to come from a different farm. Vanguard. <sighs> but if Commander Ikande says you're Sistef, then you are one of us. For now. Mm. Where'd you learn to fly? I got my teeth on space trucks, believe it or not. <laughs> Before I got my stripes, I was just another cargo hauler trying to earn an honest wage. But after a couple slick escapes, I got recruited to the academy and went from dodging pirates to hunting them. Thing is, some of my best tricks were with a big rig. Ever try a pitchback with a Hope Tech truck with two fleet wraiths on your tail? Compared to that, doing it with a military fighter is a piece of cake. Yeah, a piece of cake. How'd you get involved? Long story. I got my start in the academy and made a name for myself hunting the Crimson Fleet. I eventually got recruited to do test flights on a star station orbiting Lloyden's Rock. Me and three other Archangel pilots did some work on some extremely dangerous prototypes. But I called in a few favors and got back home with Sistef. Someone with my talents needs to be here, where the action is. Yeah, okay. Hot Try shot. not to forget who you are, okay? It'd break the commander's heart to have to hunt you down. Oh, no. I might be into breaking some hearts. I don't know. It'd just be his look. Yes, what? <clears throat> Captain, it is pleasant. Yeah. I would tell a ship full of goody goodies that we're doing piratey stuff. How do you do it? Hey, Sarah. Uh, I just thought I'd tell you that we're uh we're going to be space pirates now. We're gonna go and uh steal from the. The rich and keep for ourselves kind of things, you know what I mean? We're loose.
158 hours. Okay. So somebody said if we shoot someone, that resets to zero. I'm curious. Oh shit, it does. <laughs> nice. That's fucking awesome. Great authority, right? stars. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Hotel. I'm busy. <clears throat> Looking to load a sensitive shipment. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. Uh, I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Well, take a look at this. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? Well, if you can't handle it, point me to someone who can. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might... There uh, it is. ...bend the rules a little bit. There it is. All right, yeah. Does that work? You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who oh, might be able to unlock great. that stuff for you. Wonderful. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't Kemp. passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Lovely. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Yes, yes, yes. Boss it has. Boss hey, it has. how's it going? Can I help you? Cool. Maybe. That's what we do here. Maybe you can help. See you around. A reduced noise ordinance. We got lots effect. of stuff. Sounds like a plan. I can also take stuff off your hands, too, if that's something you're interested in. Eh, off my hands. You'll keep your hands off my hands. How about that? Yo, stay good out there. He can make a real good living work in the mines here on Mars. Wow, he just happens to be sitting right at the entrance to the the, uh, the bar. That's that's not. Unless you're here to serve me another mm. drink, you can turn around and walk away. Mm. Somebody said... Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Who's when he asked that I was dealing with you? You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, I'm your guy. Okay. Alright. No problem. 
Right down to business. And no small talk. I like it. Good. Now listen yeah, no. up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. Okay. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna pay his debt. Let's get down to business. Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of oh. this guy. Oh, okay. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Okay. Gonna go break some legs, I guess. Also, why am I not seeing a waypoint? That was a wrong ah. Well, that wouldn't do it. Sedonia. Welcome to Sedonia. The United States. Right where I belong, with my family. Something I can help you with? Oh, buddy, I'm here to collect some credits. Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? I really don't have time. Uh, what? Play what games? You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Uh, well, I'll go back and tell her that you said Adla, that. Uh, Adla. 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 Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Yeah, yeah. Adler. sorry. I, I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. <laughs> I I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Mm. Sound good? Yeah? No. So I don't think Adler's going to be satisfied with that uh. option. Well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? That's not why I'm here. Right? I'm tired of playing games, kid. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Pay him now. Get your revenge later. We're gonna wait till the ad finishes. Before we... So that everybody can see the results. Physix. Use auto persuade. Physics. If it s your last pick.
him back. Nah, I'll get your revenge later. Yeah, sure. And then I'll have the whole Crimson Fleet gunning for me. Brilliant. Brilliant idea. Yep. Not for you, do it for the sake of there. What? Oh, oh my god. He might come after them? Yeah. Because of me? Yeah. I hadn't even thought of the possibility. You know, know how the gangs work? Please. Mafias. Tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. He had the... He could pay it in full right now. And he tried to wiggle... Faith in God is what brought us to the start. That dude was playing with lightning in a bottle right there. He's lucky I'm an upstanding, law-abiding citizen. Some days. Today. It's getting pretty late. What time is it? Today happens to be one of those days. Final particle detonation concluded. It is now safe to resume normal activity for the remainder of the day. Detonations to resume Sometimes tomorrow morning. Have something for me? Yeah, there you go. There, would you look at that. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Glitch. Or did he the get Beatles the message? just dropped a new album. <laughs> Beatles are half dead. Uh, he got the message. Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on dead beats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind Welcome of work, to chat, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my uh, associates? And if you think they can handle me? <laughs> That's. Oh, oh there's no the mummy daddy All button! Right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Ooh, 11,000. Oh, yeah. Europa. All right. Glitch. I will make sure that my dad is following you. Looks like Adler finally did something right for once. Cool. Appreciate that. Thank you. Wait. Uh. Hey! Just answer the damn hail! As I wear a UC, so, uh, big shot. special forces armor. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. <laughs> That's... Adler said that? I didn't know he cared. <laughs> you're funny. I hate funny. Remember that. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply Lich. ship called the Rikana. He defeated me yesterday Jumped in Mortal Kombat. Nice. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. A lot of people want traitors dead. A lot of that going around, I guess. All right. Consider it done. done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. I will and cut your throat in your sleep. Waiting for long. Keep it up. What do you want Rake to used to run with the fleet. <clears throat> Hell, I'm the one who vouched for him in the first place. 
Back then he had a different name and a different identity. He was a damn good earner too. Brought in a ton of creds. Everything was uh -huh. fine until he wanted out. There it so is. he ran. And nobody, I mean nobody, runs away from the fleet. Now, are you sure he's there? I've been tracking Rick for months. He's making it tough, not gonna lie. He changes his location and identity so often, it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. But you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in front of Delgado, and I'm gonna have his head on a pike. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Like I've got a choice. Guess he's in the atmosphere. adjustments are being made. The most difficult part has been acclimating to what you perceive as the more um, insignificant customs. Interesting. Such as? Uh, let me think. Oh, yes. Here's a particularly strange one. After a person sneezes, someone invariably invokes the phrase, bless you. Oddly strange to administer absolution after witnessing a bodily function. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there was a perfectly good reason that expression was connected to sneezing. But I'm afraid it's lost to time. Hmm, that is a shame. I would like to have understood the specific etymology of those words. Ah, oh, well, I don't think that's necessary, Andresia. It's enough to know that being courteous to others is the right thing to do. The crewman I'm looking for. All right. And what are your intentions with this crewman? Physix. Every time TTS says Glitch's name, I think they are calling you a bitch. Calling Marcellus Wallace a bitch. Too many people to know about it. They'll come back and bite me. Damn it. I do not have choice, do I? Okay. Docking bay is open. Let's talk. that airlock and get aboard you're not going anywhere in fact i i need to get rid of all of y'all off this ship <laughs> this is not gonna be a fun ride for y'all <laughs> y'all are gonna hate me after this every fucking one of you so what's new with you today
I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. Mm -hmm. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. Mm -hmm. Use Austin Ray. That is not something I am going to do. Not until you reveal your intentions. As far as you are concerned, I am Austin Rake. You want him? You're going to have to kill me. Okay. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? Well, I will kill every fucking one of you if you don't tell me who Austin Rake is. How about that? You are Kill asking me to betray my own crew. I, I mean, Rakers a pirate. We're going to count to ten. After which, I'll kill everyone on board. You wait! You do not have to do that. Just give me more time to think. All right. All right, I will do it. I've got no love for the fleet. And if Rake was one of them, my loyalty is with him end. But if I do this... You have to promise to spare the rest of the crew and leave the supplies for New Homestead. Is that all it takes for you to flip on me, Dimitri? Unbelievable. It is either you or all of us, Austin. I'm sorry. Cut the crap and just admit it. You're a coward. <laughs> you know, I almost bought it. All that crap about helping people and making a difference. But at the end of the day, you're no different from the fleet. When push comes to shove, you'll... You're not taking my shit! <clears throat> this isn't worth it! You know what? I put my gun away. You didn't. We're losing. This is bad. Oh. Told you I'd kill every fucking one of you. I put my gun away. You didn't. This is on you, not me. He's not even dead and it's completing the mission. Tic Tac Jim. OMG, what did you do? Mark one time for I, um, I, uh, I just murdered the entire ship. I, I, I didn't, didn't want to, but they started attacking me and. Tic Tac Jim. Ha ha ha. I tried to do it peacefully, but. Just, uh, I didn't want them all to die Hi, because dude started shooting them and then all of a sudden they started shooting me. So I was like, all right, let's go. Kill y'all. Kill y'all. Yes, I just did. I really should send everybody home. <laughs>
really do need a better place. Really do need a better place. Need a hand? I had a titanium delivery. For some reason, I can't put any more at this outpost. <clears throat> Which seems rather strange. Okay, we have another outpost here. So we'll throw one of these uh, things in one of these other outposts and see if that works. Oh, that's, I just had to unassign them? That's fucked up.
don't want to do this, but I also don't want to like ruin all of my reputation with these kids in the process of doing this mission. I guess I gotta do some dirty shit. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to take this one alone. These are pirate companions. I walk a lonely road. The only one that I have ever known. Like a, a preset combat profile that would be nice to be able to like just tab through different pages to like set those. Physics. They could set him to your weapon buttons. One, two, three. E C T. Yeah, yeah, that that wouldn't be a terrible way to do it at all.
it under control, but definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. <laughs> now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Austin Rick is dead, crew is dead. Good work, Rook. Quick, clean, and no witnesses. No anyway, witnesses. you want it into the Crimson <clears throat> Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Just murder Hope a bunch of people. This business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm going to send someone after you. If that happens, you'll be dead. I won't let you come after me. But, yeah, no. You that better sew that crap before you make me change my mind. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Ooh, the key. The key. <clears throat> so we gotta go report in first. Like, hey, uh, I thought they, I thought, I thought they said no communications, and yet here I am, walking right back to them, being like, hey, y'all, uh. So, um... Ridiculous. No communications means no communications. Why are we communicating? Of service, Captain. Henry Conde wants to see you. Follow me. <laughs> I had a friend on the Ragana. If I had my way, I'd space whoever killed him. I will hit her. There you are. I want answers, and I want them right now. We intercepted your exchange with the Ragana. What the hell possessed you to kill those innocent people? I had no choice. You represent UC Sister, which means you always have a choice. I realize you have a role to play, but you have to be better than those pirates. <sighs> now I have to waste precious time smoothing this over with Mast. Make up excuses. Perhaps even lie on my reports. Let me make this crystal clear. You do what you can to stay in the fleet, but it's not a license to kill. That is where we draw the line. Do something like this again, and you're out. I'll hang the goddamn wanted poster. Hearing and time. comprehending all this ugliness. Then there is test. one. Let's focus on our intel on Sears. Our files indicate she's as you were. Contact. Talk to me like shit. Eat shit. So we should probably see if we can't play out that other thing differently. I didn't want to kill them all, but I did anyways, and apparently that was the wrong answer. Supposed to probably be like, well, we're with this stuff. We should be able to save your life. Let's see. Let's go back and see if we can. The 
Physics. Right. You shot the wrong guy when they were floating around together. I know. Physics. I, 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 a few times. Physics. And then there was the whole. I uh, think you mesread the name tag. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you want a dark cup, I guess I should just. All right. Um. Which one of you is that Austin Ray? That is not something I am going to do. Not until you reveal your intentions. As far as you are concerned, now do you mind? Them? Yeah, Austin Ray. You are asking me to betray. Breaker's a fugitive. You'd be doing the right thing. Wow, manipulation doesn't make him go right out. Break is a pirate, doesn't Whoever he was before, he is a member of my crew now. <laughs> it is a devil's choice either. Auto way. persuade. <laughs> but you have a point. Yeah, I know. Break is a fugitive, you'll be doing right. Whatever he has done, it is not up to us to judge. It is too! Let's just kill this fool while we have the numbers. Tic-tac-toe. Yes. I didn't kill him, just saying. So the only option to really just make this easy is I am not sure what to make of you being here. Kill him or I'll kill it all. <laughs> kill us. You could have done that if you wanted to. I guess I should just stop. That is one. not something as far as you are con now. Do you mind? I don't know why you don't use the auto persuade when it is charged. Because it didn't do me any good. I just did. It didn't do any fucking good. Stop with the goddamn bot follows, y'all. <laughs> Douche. It's a devil's choice either way. But you have a point. I don't think you understand. I do not want to. Alright, look. I have heard the Crimson Fleet will do anything for some credits. Maybe he's just reaping what he sowed. Alright, alright, I will do it. I've got no love for the fleet. But if I do this. You have to promise to spare the rest of the crew. Yeah. And <clears throat> is that all it takes for you to flip on me, Dimitri? Unbelievable. It is either you or all of us, Austin. I'm sorry. Cut the crap and just admit it. You're a coward. <laughs> you know, I almost won. All that crap about helping people and making a difference. But at the end of the day, you're no different from me. Push comes to shove, you only care about yourself. <laughs> Where did you go? Dead meat! <laughs> Raisin up. Maybe you should add Seri Bot. Oh man, he didn't kill him. 
TikTok gym. Or reinstate mod powers while I ban them all. That doesn't do any good. Can't ban followers, I'll still be a follower. Pretty sure. Pretty sure banning them doesn't remove them as a follower. They'll get removed, it's not a big deal. It's just, it, it fucks with the, um, like, the way that the Twitch and stuff exploring, huh? moves you around Reason and off. shit with algorithms. Followers need to be blocked, not banned to remove them. Is that what it is? Razenok. I can remove people following me. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We've detached. Let's get out of here. Razor I don't even need to block them to remove them. Twitch removes them eventually. Like, today when I logged in, there were six of them that had already been removed. <clears throat> They're probably some of the earlier bots. Yeah, Twitch catches them. Just don't know how to take a hit. Hey, Rook, wanna help me with some target practice? Razor Bot is a Twitch moderation bot providing anti hate raid and anti follow bot protections and other safety features and tools to stream. I'm sure every one of the bots out there has that kind of stuff to turn it on. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them probably do. Seems like it would be a pretty standard. Tic -tac -tac I didn't kill the guy, just arranged for him to be left in a distant place. Eh. Yeah, I thought about that option, but he was a member of them, and if somehow we're got back, it's just it's too much risk. Like using the uh, thing on the terramorphs is just too much risk. Enemy Target has lost long. the grab drive. They cannot jump away. Too much risk. Razor I never saw it in common bots like Stream Elements, Stream Labs, or Nightbot. Maybe not. I don't know. It's whatever. They'll get hit and they'll go away. Not a huge deal. It's just annoying because it like bombs my fucking alerts and shit. And it fucks up. Raisin up. Seri bot never shows up in chat. Razenok quietly watches and blocks them for you. Oh, uh, Rake is dead. Got us intact. No kidding. <clears throat> That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you want it into the Crimson Fleet? Hope this business with Rake's if you screw up, and I want... I have a feeling he's still gonna be mad. Yeah? Lab, now that you know the deal, I'm gonna upload the coordinates. Head out there as soon as you can. See if I'm in trouble this time. <laughs> He's probably gonna be like, "Well, you sh you didn't have to kill him." I was like, "Okay, well, it's just one guy. Fuck." Can't expect me to be perfect. And we are locked in. 
had to earn some respect somehow. License to kill. So give me a license to kill. Make me James Bond. Good day, Commander Captain. Conde wants to see you. Follow me. Yeah, fuck him. I haven't seen my fan. We received word you boarded the Ragana. I don't care if Rake was with the fleet. The pilot and his crew were not. What you did was uncalled for. I didn't do anything. The pilot you simply took my advice. You caused the pilot into taking a crew member's life. You had no choice but to comply. Raisin up. You cannot simply uh -huh. pass off the burden of the job whenever it suits you. Understood? Yeah, understood. Good. Now I want to make this crystal clear. You do what you can to stay in the fleet, but there is an ethical line we cannot cross. Do something like this again, and you're out. Permanently. <sighs> but for now, we will continue Raise the enough. briefing. Had to think long and hard able about to that join one. The fleet? Yeah. Then it worked. You're in. As distasteful as your methods were, at least you managed to complete the job. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Things going according to yes, point. you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Minute the key. Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. Thank I have you. a profile here with some information <clears throat> on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Oh, Keep sure up enough. the good work. We'll expect <clears throat> further reports. Dismissed. You've annoyed me, Commander. Orders came down. Some new science division policy. Everyone You've annoyed me. I was debating whether I wanted to stay with the UC, but uh, long live the Empire. Is something amiss? Other than the fact that you should all be assigned to outposts? Oh, no, not really at all. Anything. Just say the word. Or did they not get assigned? Physix. U-S-I-S-N-T, the Empire, it is the Faxist state from Starship Troopers. Physix. L-U-C. No, Crimson Fleet's the Empire, or it will be when I'm done with it. <clears throat> <clears throat> You see, it will be nothing. After everything I've sacrificed, they're gonna tell me that I can't put down a few bad guys? No, fuck that. Fuck that. Did Vladimir inform you that I will be making another delivery? I will not be relegated. All right. 
suppose you were due for one. The uh, contents, the what we. Oh, no, they were not. Physics. The free star is what the U.S. thinks it really is. I'm not sure why I can't assign another one to these objects. You agreed on? Yes, Vladimir and I agreed on what should be included. That's all fine then. Do let me know if you get a response. That is highly unlikely, but if it happens, I will be sure and tell you. Y'all shouldn't even be here anymore. Get the fuck out. <clears throat> Get the fuck out. Gotta fix my van, maybe. Cut. Now get out of my face. My van. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. You kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, steal from me and get caught? Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. Yeah? The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Affairs. I don't care. Time is money, and you've wasted both. That ends today. Clear? It's gonna piss but me off, and I will stay aside, with the UC. You made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Key. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. But it really pisses off the UCU station here. <laughs> you think? And that's only part of it. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. He tells it better anyway. But I can give you the short version while we walk the station. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the keep. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. All right. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Huh, cute, huh? Wow. Wow. The joke landed so horribly that they had to actually tell you in-game to make it clear. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the That's hell is this? Pretty much everywhere. All right, all right. Hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? 
It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship? She's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Great. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just lining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri. Queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps. Wow, they said that a lot. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with Anakin it. Gamers. With that, take it up well, with that essay first. If it's on hard the right, find, you've got I'm Bradley got from the it. Trade Authority. What's a first? I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Misra. She'll patch you up. Anakin Gamers. The money. Bots like we that. Don't run any free clinics Anakin up in Gamers. Here, you know? Can I ban him? Okay. Long? No, it doesn't this do anything. This is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last you Nova, block them. where Bog serves watered down drinks at ridiculously like exorbitant prices. The, in the channel and now, right and here is the most important place on the entire station the Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Wraith? Anakin Gamers. He's been taken care of, all and right? Twitch can TV be bothered to like fix it. I don't like and this rook is the one who well, tied it off. There's nothing you really do about it other than like, Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning like, regarding your choices. It's then you couldn't do like follow shoutouts and get like a bunch of them. Yeah, around, yeah, so. love you too, darling. Anyway, so they'll get fixed. Shinya Twitch will, handles Twitch will remove life. them eventually, and the, the, money. the follows will all fall off. We call him our reckoner, but if you ask me. He's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. Dude's I've got, got real work chest. to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. That's the most clever security measure. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Mm -hmm. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! You might consider me the greatest threat we have. 
For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Hmm. Like it's man. why he's the boss. Of course. I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my rib cage, but Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the Corps. Thanks to advanced modifications, even Dugin would envy me. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean Raise credits enough. faster and more Whoever is follow botting you is doing a shitty job, mind. LMAO. There. You're done. All you need now Wait, is Delgado's bots. blessing, and you'll be one of us. Razenok. Normal follow botting is like one thousands of follows at once. Subject. Thanks yeah, to our relations the, with like, contacts really across the galaxy, show. we always have a steady stream of jobs available. But also a thousand I've followers granted at you once all the necessary permissions to fuck. access <laughs> these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Great, great. If Nava's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, listen. Are you looking to start something? Oh, and you're welcome. I will turn this game off. Those credits ain't ah, gonna steal themselves. There are some other new recruits. Mr. Delgado. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Hmm. I think we're going to finish this up and then probably call it for the night. I said, I got shit I got to do in the morning or tomorrow, so I got to get up a little bit earlier than I normally do. That'll be fun. Hopefully it's not too terrible. I gotta, gotta replace the bearings in my wheels. Hopefully. I didn't fuck it up and it's all like gouged in there or something. Cause that would suck. Hopefully it didn't actually. Cause that would suck. You want to space Boy. out? Can't afford to replace your own time. Ram or rams. Uh, can't afford to replace the spindle or the rotor. Which is expensive. Expensive. I think the spindle was like two hundred and fifty bucks. And the rotor is like a hundred bucks. Probably could find them cheap at a junk yard somewhere. Or something, but I don't have a car to go, so I have to like walk or take a bus over there. If I can find one, I don't even know where they are in LA. Like. Junkyard in LA. Shit. No, I'm just You'd better not disappoint, or you'll find yourself <clears throat> answering to me personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits, no one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal, or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Hmm. Got it, boss. Boss? <laughs> Good. 
You're getting it already. I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. Mm -hmm. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Hmm. Well, what's this about Crix's Before legacy? Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. become a larger target for you stuff. forget the uc is still licking its wounds from the colony wars they don't have the capability to mount a full-scale mm. assault and if they were foolish enough to attack we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to jemison if we have Crix's legacy huh. what if nave is right and Crix's legacy isn't real listen to the words that i am saying the legacy is real you will hey. find that out in due time, provided you're willing to put in the work. Nothing worth having ever comes easy. Why is there not a question to ask how long you've been looking for this? Because clearly it's been decades and you've not found it. I'm concerned. Sure, yeah, well, we'll be a... We'll be a we'll be exactly. Helpful. Now you're beginning yeah. to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. Sure. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Anything about the <laughs> history? I could tell you stories that would last for hours. But now is not the time. You have a job to do, and I don't like to be kept waiting. When you... Well, if you get back to the key. I am sure you can find some copies of the interview he gave to SSNN around here. Somewhere. I think those recordings might give you the history lesson that you are looking for. And if I decide to do, do Got mixed feelings about my this? last job on the one. Easy pickings! Ah! <laughs> Messing with the fleet? Oh! Better than to me! Light him up! 
So you cannot kill him. I figured I'd check it. See? See if he was, like, vital. He is. He's a vital character right now. Can't be ended. Wait a second. Wait. I totally saved this before I did this. What the fuck? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Say what the shit. I didn't say quick save though, probably. Alright. Yeah, I think we're gonna wrap this up here. Call this a stream for now. I would normally go a little bit longer. Like I said, I got shit to do tomorrow, and also I'm trying to, uh, I don't know. My shoulder's been tweaking really hard lately, so. I'm trying to not spend as much time in, like, gaming. I am so. sick of using the trade authority or to clean goods. First person, Bradley's the real I tend to find stuff that's a little bit more mellow that only revolves, like, my mouse clicking, so that I can kind of, like, take the stress off my shoulders. Maybe I don't know what it is. But also things that are boring for stream that we don't stream. If I had a billion crests, I'd run my own city, like Bayou. Except in my town, you could do Alright, well, thanks for watching, Noah. Uh we're gonna raid somebody, roll the credits, and then we will be live tomorrow. Um again, I gotta work on my van, hopefully. So if I can get that done, and it's not a hassle. Anakin Gamers. CYA tomorrow, man. Have a good night. Then, it, should, it might even be an earlier stream if I can get that shit done early enough. Get it all done. We might start, like, closer to 6 p.m. Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. We need to figure out some multiplayer stuff, though, because we need to get some more multiplayer. It's been a lot of single player dank. lately. Have a good night, dude. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Um, thank you for your support. Let's see. Yeah. Get you on the next one. Anakin Gamers. Star Wars is done for tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we could try Star Wars tomorrow night. I'd be down for that. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. Star Wars Old Republic tomorrow, if you guys want to play. Make sure you have the game downloaded. And we'll, it's free to play. It's on Steam. It's also its own launcher, so we'll have a good time with it. We'll get into it and start leveling up. It's free to play, so you don't have to spend any money on it, right? Anywho, we'll catch you on later on today, I guess. See you later. Anakin Gamers. GN Bro. Oh.